it gets cash out of the system and replaces that by the use of, uh, of M-Pesa. It's important to us because we think that the agricultural sector uh, plays an important role in the economy in general. It's about 24%. And this sector is providing jobs for you know, more than 2 million people. And so if we can make their lives more efficient, if we can reduce their cost, if we can increase uh, security around handling of funds, then we think it'll make a difference. Uh, we've set ourselves a fairly ambitious uh, target, and already uh, I think uh, the new KCC, uh, through the pilot, has achieved 4 to 3 percent of that target. So, you know, I think we're, we're kind of set pretty well to it. Yeah, so the current MPESA limit of 140,000 shillings a day, we do understand that that does create some challenges. Uh, we are working with the central bank to see how we can improve that, but we want to do that. We have to do it clearly in association with the, with the central bank, uh, and they have to be comfortable that you know all the anti-money laundering and, and other stuff can be addressed. But you know, as soon as we can improve that, then we will increase it. So when we look at a small-scale farmer, a small-scale farmer who has probably got between three and five cows, um, who is probably not getting an optimal yield, is probably getting about five to eight liters. We think that if we can produce information and input and education for those farmers. And iCow is a very good example which we've done with Green Dreams. iCow is just delivering uh, an SMS, helping the farmer to understand what they need to do with a cow. And they're seeing an improvement of between 30 and 50 percent. We've similarly done stuff with uh, Kilimo Salama, which is a, a crop insurance. And we're looking for more interesting ways of developing, um, of developing those small-scale farmers. And that's, that's really our, our keen interest.